Good morning everybody and welcome to Goldcrest Valley uh, with me the Venerable Kev in Farmers Simulator 22. Now you find me today rushing out of my house in order to go down to the shop. Now why on earth would I be doing this? Well the thing is as you may know we're starting forestry and last night I got an email from the shop, our local shop, to say they're doing a promotion which they do every year, a promotion for a charity called mhanational.org which is, oh no, there's a train. Okay, okay. Which is a, a mental health charity in America. So a very worthy charity. Um, but what they do is, it's an offer called 545. So what you do is, uh, you pay them $5,000 and you can take, take away five pieces of machinery for five days. Um, I almost said to them it should be called 54545, but I didn't say that. But anyway, so I'm rushing to see, I mean there's nobody on the road here, look. I'm rushing to see if any of the machines are left because they said it's starting this morning at 8 o'clock and it's 10 past 8 now. So I am off to see if I can nab the best instruments or if they've even got anything for forestry, I don't know. So here we are and here are all the machines. So for forestry, let's just park it over here. there so let's see what we've got yes I think we want that um, now I've used some of these machines before they do have forestry machines and I think we want this Rotney here so I'm gonna nab that um, and I'm also gonna nab a telehandler now these telehandlers have things attached I need a log fork so I'm gonna nab this JCB I hope it comes with the with the log fork and I also need a trailer, a logging trailer. Is there one here? There's one here. Um, and I could do with the truck as well to, to attach to it. So there's trucks here. There's two, I think I can see two trucks. Oh, there's trucks here. Okay, so I'm gonna just pop in and check that what I can, what I can use and pay them $5,000. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so. Um, everything is fine and I can take the machines I want. I'm actually the first one here so I guess it's December and not many people are coming down here and, and nabbing these these things so the first one I'm going to take is this Rotner here because this is a very expensive machine and I'm going to take it before anybody else does basically um, but I've got I've got everything reserved so um, I'll take this up to the forest and I'll come back for the rest. So it's taken quite a long time to get this Rotney here. Uh, there's just one thing I've got to do before we do anything else. Um, I need to go to construction and put some signs down. Um, so let's see if I can just put one here in the sunshine. Active logging and we will put one just the other side as well there fine so <laughs> good right that should keep people out okay so I will well I consider this Rotney here now I'll just park it on the side and then we'll go and get the rest of the stuff and then we can start okay well it's gonna take a while to get everything to the, the, the forest so I will just cut to when we're all there and ready to go So this is the final machine to arrive, the JCB, which is actually our tractor, the JCB Fast Track. Um, and I didn't want to use anything like the Lumberjack mod um, or Super Strength or anything. I want to do this quite realistically. So uh, where to start? Well, we start obviously with the Rotney. Now, um, now it's quite tight in here at the moment. Obviously, there's trees all over the place because it's a forest. So I may need the, yeah, unfold. Okay, now it's unfolded. Let's open it up and see if we can cut our first tree. So we'll head to this one directly in front of us. Uh, let me just see if I can lower it as much as possible uh, so there's not too much stump to remove and get it on the tree. Lovely. 
So, swing it out so it's not hitting us. Nice. Very good. Okay, so that's a nice bit of uh, environmental destruction. Uh, let's try one more. I might do a fast forward on things, but I'd like to do a little bit of, you know, real, real time stuff. So let's go to a different view, actually. Let's try this view. Lower it down a bit. Very good, very good. A very good machine. I really like the Rockney. Um, I have tried. There's a yellow one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a yellow one. But it can't. It can't cut very, very wide trees. And I think a lot of these trees here are. Um, I think they're spruce. I'm not sure, but uh, we need to know because we need to plant, replant trees here. I can't just uh, destroy all these trees and not replant them. Otherwise, we'd have nothing to nothing to uh, cut down in the future so Okay, I think that's all done for the moment. Um, there's a nice sort of little clearing appearing in the forest now. We've got more more room to manoeuvre. Uh, so we have a lot of wood now on on board. So, uh, but I don't think that we own a sawmill, which is what we need. We don't. So we're going to have to borrow some money. What's our money situation like? Well, we're allowed to borrow up to 500,000 and I'm prepared to do it. But what we need for the sawmill I'm not sure <laughs> but we'll go there and we'll find out and then we'll have to buy it because you know there's no point doing logging if we don't have a sawmill uh, this is how we're going to make the money back you know to pay off what we've borrowed so um, I'll see you when I'm at the sawmill it's a bit of shame that the the sawmill is kind of the other side of the map to us uh, we do have a forest uh, a carpentry rather on our doorstep but uh, I wanted to go with the sawmill first for wood not not the carpentry first I think it's more profitable to do a sawmill first so uh, first thing we need to do is to see how much it is because we need to buy it so where do we buy stuff here I think hundred thousand okay we're gonna have to borrow it so let's go to money and we'll get to hundred and ten thousand borrowed this is going to take us really near to five hundred thousand pound borrow, but dollars rather. So let's buy it. Okay, and then I guess we can put all our wood in it. Yes. So let's go to let's have a look at our production now. Uh, sawmill wood planks. It's pretty full, and it's already one liter one liter of planks. I think it's fast spawning. So. Uh, what we'll do is drive back now to the forest um, I think I might like to just break it up a little bit here and do something else so I'm gonna in a minute just head back to the car and have a look for one or two collectibles and also check on our grass field so I'll take the lorry back and I will see you in the car in a minute Okay, so here's the car. Now, the first place I want to check for collectibles, because I have a hunch, is our farm. <laughs> uh, our, the other day I thought I'd found them all, but there are two hidden ones that 
are hidden in plain sight so let me show you where they are it's so quiet on the roads today nobody is here maybe all the Americans have gone on vacation somewhere over to Spain or something so the two collectibles that were in hiding in plain sight are here and unbelievably there's one just around the corner here as well here so uh, now if you have if you haven't watched an episode I don't collect all 50,000 I take 5,000 from each one there are 20 for the 10th and 20th ones I do collect 50,000 so I'm gonna have to put money back okay so 90,000 booked back but I did manage to get 10,000 out of that so I think I'll jump in the car again. I'd, actually, I'm, I meant to check on the grass field when we were down at the shop, but I will go down to that now and I will see you when we're there. I thought I'd just pop into our bakery while we're heading to the grass field because lo and behold, we have two breads here. So what I will do, this grocery mart just next door, we need cash at the moment more than ever. I'm just going to take them all over to the grocery mart and sell them. I'm not even going to check the price because whatever it is, we'll take it. Uh, we should wait for like January or something to sell our bread, but people need bread now, you know. So um, I will just do all the bread that's here. Okay, this is the last one. So I think we'll get about, how much do we get for one? 3,000, it's about 3,400. So about 6,000, about 7,000 altogether. Uh, so this is a good day's, good morning's work. I've found two collectibles, uh, I've sold some bread, and the money's gone right up. So I'll see you when we're back, when we're at our grass field. Okay, so this is our grass field and our cows, which happily are still alive, uh, even though I haven't checked on them for ages, but they should have plenty of hay. So let's just see our grass field, because I just haven't been down here. It's a bit out of sight and out of mind. Ready to harvest. Okay. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will make some grass silage, because then we can sell it for, you know, lots of cash. But I should just check on our animals, because I haven't done that for ages and it's really bad. So hay is all fine. They're three months old. They've got slurry. So what about our sheep? Um, oh, there's some wool. Fantastic. They've got lots of grass. So all's well and grain. Oh gosh, we need to put some grain or buy some grain for the chickens. We'll do that some other time. Hopefully they will <laughs> survive. Um, so now I just I have a hunch where to find another collectible but I won't uh, I'll, I'll just show you when I get there okay so it's right in the corner of the map I'll show you uh, down here and I can see it so it's just over here So, minus 45,000. Now, I do have a hunch for one or two others. Let me just have a look at the map. I'm sure there's one up in this right-hand cor left-hand corner and one down here, down in the right-hand corner. So, I'm just going to pop up to field number one and have a look at that. And then I think what we might do is do some more forestry and we also need to do the grass, the grass silage to get that going. So, I'll just um, try and find one more collectible today. Okay, we're right in uncharted waters now, right in the northwest of the map. Uh, you can see we're up here. So, uh, and I've seen it already, so it's just over here in front of the garage. So, <laughs> three more to go, it said. Three more to go. And the third one of the three more to go, I can keep 50,000. So that's going to be lovely. Okay. I think that what I'll do is take the car back now and yeah I think we'll do a bit more forestry and after that we need to make some grass silage. Uh, I might need the machines, one of the machines for grass silage, uh, like the, the JCB fast track um, or I could use RT7. Anyway I will just take the car back to the farm and I'll see you back at the forest. 
I'm going to use the Rotney a bit more. I, I was just thinking to myself that this is a, a very luxurious machine, but it's very expensive and you could do well in this game not in reality but in real life you could do in in the game rather you could do what this does quite cheaply you know just with a with a um a chainsaw sometimes i have trouble putting it on the tree i'm not sure why that's it so okay Very good. Yeah, it is a little bit tricky. I do have to, to make some cuts when I'm doing this because uh, it doesn't always connect properly and I can't always remember which way out, which way in, which way up, which way up. Um, so um, I'll just do my best with it. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun. I, I really like this machine. But uh, I think I'd only get one in game if it was like half price or something because it's $470,000 um, and that's a lot, you know, a lot when there's, um, you need, you know, expensive tractors and all the rest of it. So I think I'll do five more trees or we'll get a full load and then we'll go back to the sawmill. So I'll put this now on a, on a, a fast forward. I think our forestry is done for today it's not a full trailer but um, time is against us at the moment because we need to go and do the the grass silage as well today so um, I will take all this to the sawmill again and I will see you when we get over there but uh, I've really enjoyed doing forestry and I hope that doing two time lapse of time lapses of it is okay because it's difficult to put it you know in in a, in a video without doing the time lapse Anyway, I'll see you at the sawmill. Here we are once again, and I'm not sure where the planks spawn, but I can't see any, so it'd be too quick anyway, so I think they spawn just there. So, okay, let's put our, let's put our logs in. Okay, so 20, planks 693 litres. They're, they're pretty quick, actually. So that's pretty good. So I think I'll take the lorry back and then we'll go to the, the New Holland T7 and get everything together to cut the grass in our grass field. And that'll, that'll finish the episode, I think, but I, I would like to do that before we finish um, because that's money for us, you know. So I'll see you in a minute when we're ready to start mowing. So I'm just coming to the shop because I've got the back mower but I haven't got a front mower at the moment, I need to hire it and while we're here I'll just see if anything, yeah there's quite a few things that have gone actually, uh, telehandlers, tractors, all the forestry stuff I think is still here but people have come and nabbed stuff, there were some nice posh tractors here, they've gone now but anyway we need to pop in and get a front mower so let's just see what's available okay so we need this one do you know what it's only how much is it Thirteen thousand. i'm gonna buy it let's buy it i thought it's gonna be much more expensive than that that's the one to match what we've got so uh oh here it is brilliant so now we've got two we've got we've got a mower for the front and for the back so let's just put it on Oh, I'm really pleased about that. I really thought this front mower was much more expensive than that. The back mower is about 75,000. 
the front mower is 13,000 so very good. So now let's make our way to our, our grass field and start mowing. So I've just come over the shop with our last piece of equipment that's too small for us which I'm going to sell because we'll never use it and uh, it'll just bring us in some money so I'll just pop it in here to sell it. We never even used it so I don't think I'll have to repair it or anything. Uh, no, so how much is it worth? 26,000, that's brilliant. Okay, uh, and what we need in here is a baler so I'll just get one of those. Okay, so, um, ah, here's the baler, brilliant. So I'll just, I'll just attach and then I will see you back at the field. So I'm not a great orator and, and I'm not sure this is appropriate in a, in a flippant farming simulator video, just uh, mainly for entertainment, but if you're a youngster or even an adult and you think you're suffering from anxiety, please 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 talk to somebody and get help because there's loads of help available out there uh, when I was a kid there was no internet nothing and my parents were useless basically they were very old school and you know just kind of smile and get on with it kind of is the advice I would probably get um, I, they were not the kind of parents I could talk to but if I had the internet like there is now you know it, it's it's better it's still a difficult thing to have um, so there's like I say there's loads of help like the MHA National in America and Mind in Britain and these people are there to help anybody with problems so please get help if you are suffering from anxiety depression anything like that and I think this is the last thing I will say on the matter because you know I, I like to put in things that are appropriate for for uh, episodes like this which is about farming and escapism etc but um, I just wanted to do something a bit different and something that may help people. So thanks, you know, for listening to me. Um, and I hope it's been an entertaining episode. I'm going to just skip to the end now because uh, I'm not going to do another uh, fast forward. There's been probably two or three in the episode already. So I'll see you at the end. Okay, well, I think that's as many as I can make. We're at 92%, but I don't think I can find um, the rest. So thanks very much for watching today. Let's just see how many bales we made. 28, so that's pretty good. So thanks for watching today and for listening to me prattling on about um, unrelated stuff. But uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.